quickly review the agenda. We'll have previous minutes, three of them. Any students or school presentations, parent groups, open to the public, three minutes per speaker for no longer than 60 minutes. We'll then have our superintendent's report, correspondence and board comments, including committee reports, personnel agenda, consent agenda. We will then have an addendum to the personnel list. Then we will add resolution 031813A. And then we will have our proposed executive session. Afterward, we will adjourn the meeting. Oh, and in addition from the agenda, item 14, right? What, what item is that? Uh, 1305. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Item 1305 of the consent agenda, right? It's part of the consent agenda. Um, is being omitted from the agenda. So item 1305 of the consent agenda will be omitted. Got it now? <laughs> we have a motion for the first set of previous minutes. Motion to approve the minutes of the previous regular meeting held on Monday, February 25th. Can I do all of them together? Or are they no, I think they have to go one by one. Okay, I need a second. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Motion to approve the minutes of the previous special meeting held on Wednesday, February 27th, 2013. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Motion to approve the minutes of the previous regular meeting held on Monday, March 4th, 2013. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Do we have any student or school presentations tonight? Any parent groups? Open to the public. Three minutes per speaker. Who would like to go first? Hi. My name is Joseph Bertolozzi. I've been a resident of Beacon here for three years. I want to start out by thanking you for sacrificing your every week, every day for being in the Board of Education. My daughter Sarah went to school here. Uh, she graduated around or with uh, Bill's daughters. Yep. And um, she's a professional theatrical costume designer now. And she's doing very well for herself. And the reason I bring that up is that. Um, you know, I, I know the judges have to cut back on the budget somewhere. You've got to find some place to make cuts. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, since 2008, and I'm a professional musician, um, since 2008, uh, one music teacher was let go, another retired without being replaced. Um, so now we're down to two teachers with some elementary chorus and band teachers leading some of the rehearsals in the high school. So, um, like I said, I know that you have to make some decisions, but I hope that you can. Um, I think it would be hard for many artists you know, in the week to vote for a, a budget that cut out more and more arts, things like that. I think it's very important. So I hope you keep that in mind for your deliberations. Thank you. Thank you so much for sticking around to give us that important message. We appreciate it. Tracy Anna Lehambert, I'm a parent and taxpayer in the district. Um, I was hoping that there would be some, and perhaps you're going to cover it in your report, I'm not sure, but I was hoping that there would be some kind of an update on the um, superintendent search and the progress, as well as the assistant superintendent uh, position that is open as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, well, you know, I can tell you right now. <laughs> We're just nervous about the weather, but so I, but uh, I'm pleased to report that 
uh, the board is down to a finalist negotiating in terms of employment. Uh, that announcement should be made sometime in early April. Fantastic. For a, uh, yes, for a, a new superintendent. Uh, the assistant superintendent for instruction, uh, personnel, uh, and every problem that the superintendent doesn't want to do uh, or handle, uh, that, that is being advertised now. Um, the cutoff, I think we talked about that as a, April 5th or so. And we, we have a couple of, uh, just showed a couple of dozen applicants at this point. Uh, so the point of that is a uh, new superintendent is chosen in April to start in the 1st of July. Uh, Barbara and I will work uh, to pick two or three uh, finalists from the applicants and uh, then ask the uh, new superintendent to choose who they want to work with, and if all the plan comes together, that will be uh, July 1 as well. And you'll finally get uh, a good superintendent, assistant superintendent, after all this time. Well, I think we can all agree we're pretty happy with the two that we already have, but I appreciate your optimism, but um, that brings a, just another quick question. So could you just briefly explain um, the new HR position that you announced and how that relates to that? position and what sure. the work structure will look like? It's really not a new position. Uh, when uh, our uh, very talented and qualified Kelly Pology moved to, to be the, uh, the superintendent's uh, slave and board clerk, uh, superintendent's uh, secretary and board clerk, uh, she, uh, her position was um, personnel assistant, civil service, and uh, Cheryl Fraser Woods is her replacement, but and it's a full time in that uh, position. So hopefully, uh, although she wouldn't have administrative duties, she really will be the uh, the main person handling uh, human resource uh, resources. Else like to speak? Okay. Thank you. Superintendent's report. Well, tomorrow, uh, keep your uh, your ears open, your eyes peeled. Is it possible that there may be a delay in the morning? We've used all our snow days, so if we have to use a snow day, we will forfeit uh, May 24th, which is a Friday. <coughs> before Memorial Day. So uh, people are looking at me like, you better not. <laughs> so we'll see what the weather brings. Uh, but that's what we're looking forward to tomorrow. Our next meeting will be uh, April 8th. Thank you. Do we have any board comments tonight? Any board comments? Okay. May I have a motion for the personnel agenda? Motion to approve the personnel agenda as attached. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Consent agenda. Motion approved. Consent agenda. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Addendum to personnel items. I don't see it. As a you motion, would it be a motion? Yeah. I, have a, I have a paper copy. It's a motion. I don't see it on the board docs. If you open that, what does it show? Um, it's number 14. It just says it then to personnel. And when you build the read? Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, I got it right here. Yeah. Okay. Ah, yeah. If you open that up, see where it allows it to be open? It has an A and an E. You, if Bill wants to. Oh, you want to read it? Sure. Um, motion for instructional leave of absence for Heather Winter. Oh, they're not there. They're just taking this. Oh, you have this just motion one? 
Okay, motion, motion for the addendum for the personnel uh, agenda is uh, attached. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Resolution 031813A. I got kicked out of board doc, so <laughs> <laughs> the bill gets reading. <laughs> Motion to approve the resolution for the memorandum of agreement with the Civil Service Employees Association. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Are we having a second set? Here we go. Okay, we will not be having an executive session, so may I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? Motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Get home safely, everyone. Thank you, Madam.